Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Jonathan, and wifey Jenna. Hello. And today we're going to be doing a video on how to fix the water inlet valve for front bed, 27 foot front bed air streams. This is the part you're going to want, okay? So, pressure saver, water entry, sure flow. This is the part number, 1830291414. And I will have a link below for this part. How did we discover this? We were leaving the trailer yesterday, and there was a guy cruising by here in a little golf cart, one of the maintenance guys, and he was like, hey, you guys got a leak down there by the wheel well. And I was like, I mean, I think that's the AC condenser, because I've been watching the ground down there by the street side wheel well get more and more soaked and you know he just basically pointed out well this is where the leak's coming from right here this is like the AC condenser and you can see that's dripping um, AC is running today even though it's kind of cold but the drip was coming from right here right here and like over there and you've got this hose and you know that Water comes out of there too, but that's not what it was. So it was all wet here, this crack here, and it was dripping all the way down here, and it was also dripping off of this here. And it was a leak. It was not a leak in the skins, but it is this. And it's a common problem. And it's a common problem. So now we're gonna take this off and disconnect it from the outside and the inside. And took this thing off outside we found a couple things the first thing that was worrisome was that it had a washer on it let me get a good shot of this so we can't tell if this washer is just worn or what but it does have the consistency of something that might take the shape of this little uh at the end of this filter here so we went and got new washers the other thing we ran into is that I guess Airstream uses flashing on the outside of connections and stuff like this. And they did not sell flashing at the RV store, so um, what we're going to do is go ahead and take this flashing off around this piece, put it back onto this piece, and then for extra um, safety measures, because we do not want to have leaks where we live, we are going to use RV putty tape around the outside here so as to make sure that it won't leak. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. So now that we're done, we're gonna go take this. And as you saw, I just kind of worked it around in a circle because that putty can, you know, it's shapeable. You can mold it like clay kind of. And then I just cut the excess off around with a knife. And now we're gonna go install it. Okay, so we're gonna clean the outside up just a little bit, just so that we know it's gonna create as good of a seal as we can get. And the next step is to actually screw this baby in. Solid. And the putty definitely squeezed out on the sides. So we know we've got a tight fit that's not going to leak. And I'm actually going to take my X-Acto knife and clean this up. Okay, so I've got my X-Acto knife. And I'm just going to ever so lightly run the 
razor between the actual part and the trailer so as to not leave a mark either on the part or the trailer. Okay, so we've got it looking a lot better. Honestly, if you just kind of go medium deep the first time and run along all of it, you can pull all the excess off and then kind of poke the rest in. And so that's good. So we're gonna head back inside and finish this up. Okay, so the next thing that needs to be done here is to place this washer on the regulator. Keep in mind that this plastic, this uh, little uh, plastic slash rubber washer does kind of take the shape of its, uh, of the fittings. So the best way I've found to do this is it needs to go, see how it's a cone shape? The cone shape, the top of it, needs to go facing this. So the flat side, the flat side, needs to go in here and if you put it in there like that and push it in with your finger it really will kind of sink down and <laughs> and sit and sit in there so once you have that in there you can line it up and then screw on Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is connect back up to city water. And now we have regulated city water. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pull this down, flip it around so that it's sitting here like this. Put this screw in, that screw in, this one and that one. 